took for acne. I've always struggled with acne since about 12 years old and it's just something you have to grow to accept, I think. And today I'm gonna be not wearing any foundation or any kind of concealer. I feel like I've almost tried everything you can imagine to get rid of my acne. And now that I'm 20 years old, I don't really get so much acne anymore. I'd say that my acne got worse around 17 years old and I couldn't really work out why. Um, stick around if you wanna hear some of the ways that I've cured my acne. I wouldn't say I really got bullied about my acne, but I was really insecure about it and people definitely did point it out sometimes and it would make me really shy and really insecure and I compared myself a lot to other people because I couldn't understand why everyone else seemed to have beautiful skin and I didn't. Um, of course that wasn't true, it's just in my head that no one else had spots. My friend told me a really good tip for taking off makeup which is to avoid getting any acne you don't need to get and the tip he told me was to wash your face twice when you're washing it so um one time with the you're just getting rid of the dirt and the makeup and then the second time you're gonna wash away like to actually cleanse the pores i'm thinking peachy vibes for today's makeup the first thing i tried to get rid of my acne was going on the pill um i was 14 years old and I went on the pill to get rid of my acne. And I have to say, it really worked. It really helped. The doctors said they don't usually suggest for people of that age to go on the pill. Um, but I really just, I really wanted to help my acne. Um, it was painful. It was literally all over my forehead. Like, it was intense. Um, and not only did I not like my acne but i was really insecure about my forehead at the time and i still am quite insecure about my forehead i've got a big forehead i've got a five head i've got a six head i've got a seven head let's be honest i used to get bullied about my forehead quite a lot and then just having the acne there too concentrated in that area was just the cherry on top really i kind of went on and off the pill for a few years i think then at 17 years old my acne started to get a lot worse like I was getting cystic acne on my cheeks and in the temples of my forehead. Um, I couldn't work out why because I thought I cured my, not cured because I did still get acne, but it just was nowhere near as bad. And yeah, I was getting the cystic acne and I couldn't understand why. So I went back to the doctors about it. She said, are you in pain? And I said, yes, it was painful. It was really, it was like rock hard acne. And she prescribed me benzoyl peroxide, which is the second thing that could help your acne, which helped me. And I also want to mention that I've never really liked wearing really thick foundation. I find it really suffocating, I guess. It, like, it's uncomfortable to wear thick foundation for me. And if I do ever put on thick foundation for Instagram or whatever, then that is literally just for that and then I'll probably take it off straight after because as well I don't want to get any acne I don't need to be getting. So yeah, uh, going back to benzoyl peroxide, some of the questions the doctor asked me was like, do you sunbathe a lot very randomly? Um, and I said no. Maybe that's because it's like bleach, like it's like actual bleach. Now let's put some shiny stuff in our eyelids. I'm using this palette by the way, Ruby Obsessions. I'll put all the products in the, the bio, the caption. I'll put all the products in the caption. Benzoyl peroxide massively helped my acne in that stage and it made it kind of just simmer down to like really flat spots, which is what I wanted. So that worked for that. Um, I still have acne scarring and I'll continue to have more acne scarring because that's just part of being someone who's prone to acne, I believe. The pill, even though it helped a lot, I think it left me feeling quite lacking of concentration, if that makes sense. So in class, I found it really difficult to concentrate sometimes. And um, I'm not sure I would recommend to you if you're under whatever age, probably 16, to go on the pill. I was 14 and 
maybe that was a bit young however it did do what i wanted at the time um also i want to point out there is nothing wrong with covering your acne there's nothing wrong with wearing foundation if that's what you like to do um i personally just didn't really enjoy it and it made me feel really suffocated um I think maybe I wish I would have realized that makeup isn't actually too bad for your skin as long as you prep your skin beforehand you need to cleanse you need to tone you need to moisturize and you need to actually wash away your makeup at the end of the day and then you should be fine I'm gonna go ahead and waterline my eyes with some of this lip pencil do some mascara eyeliner all that jazz and then I'll be back to you turn my acne into art which was the whole point of this video I put on mascara, I put on eyeliner, I also put on a little bit of this Axology, Axology lip stuff. I'm going to be using sketch paint today and I'm going to be turning my spots into flowers. Before I get onto the main point that helps my acne to not break out, which is the biggest one I found, the biggest one that makes a difference and the most natural way, um, I'll just paint on my face a little bit. Let's start with this big boy. I found that drinking a lot of water, you've heard it all before, but drink water. Your body is made up of something ridiculous of like, what is it, like 65% water? So it makes sense that if you drink a lot of water, then you're gonna have more plump skin. I remember I made myself a promise once that I would get a glass of water every single time I went downstairs. By getting a glass of water every single time I went downstairs, that did accumulate the problem of having a lot of glasses in my room. <laughs> so uh, save the environment, use the same glass twice. Another thing is that um, exercising and then not washing your face or cooling your face rather, can, um, trigger breakouts so i found that after i went to yoga when i used to do yoga um i would get really red in my face so what i would do is i'd get a little towel and make it wet so it was cold and then press it onto my face and i actually found that i got less breakouts that way let's talk about the final and the most important point for how i helped cure my acne I have one word for you, that is sugar. Sugar and I have a love-hate relationship. While I love her so dearly, she really does me dirty quite a lot. This was the last point that I was always so reluctant to try because I love sugar, I love chocolate. <laughs> Sometimes the hardest things to hear are the ones that we need to hear the most. Maybe let's just take a second to think about how much sugar is in food. How sugar is in your cereal, it's in bread, it's in literally everything, you can't avoid it. And when I'm talking about sugar, I mean added sugar. Um, your innocent muesli, your innocent muesli, is actually packed with sugar. And it could be the cause of your breakouts. It was definitely the cause of my breakouts. Um, I've gotten to a point where, because I don't drink alcohol anymore, um, I have to have something to look forward to, <laughs> so I do eat sugar now, but I did actually, did actually go completely cold turkey on sugar for a long time. In hindsight, looking back at when I was most tired and I would just get these really weird crashes like in the middle of the day where I just felt like I was going to fall asleep walking up the stairs to class. I was probably on a sugar crash. I'm on a sugar crash. <sighs> so, sugar. The truth's out. It's not what you want to hear and you might not even listen to me, but the truth is sugar. Let's talk a little bit more about sugar and what it's doing to your skin. So, basically, there are just so many bad things about sugar. So many things about sugar that are bad for your skin. But that doesn't stop me eating it. Um, it used to because that's how invested I was and my skin was literally like 
when I didn't eat sugar. Um, like I said, I just need something to look forward to. Like, if I'm not gonna have alcohol, then I need to do something. Sugar causes a spike in insulin, which triggers testosterone, I believe, to be produced in a higher amount, which causes acne. Um, it causes hormonal acne, it causes cystic acne, those really deep-rooted acne types. It is a sacrifice having good sin. Beauty is pain. But um, if you're getting really bad cystic acne, then it might be worth considering cutting down on the sugar you're eating a little bit. If in doubt, sparkle it out. I made my acne into art and it looks kind of cute actually. Yeah, like, um, so I don't really eat sugar anymore because I know it gives me acne. Oh yeah, it's not my fault. 